Hey you, you are never gonna believe this. Actually, you 100% will because it's in the title of the video, but I'm back to work. Feels really good to be back. So being off of work for four months was fabulous in most regards. My first trip was at the beginning of August. Today it is August 22. The month is almost over and I've only had two trips. I had my bachelorette trip as well, coming soon to a theater near you. We are still only one month and a half away from the wedding, so it's a little bit of a stressful time right now. My first trip was really good three-day trip. That is what you are about to watch right now, if you clicked on this video for that reason. <laughs> but before I tell you the story of my first trip, going back to work, I'm 100% going to tell you about this green drink. This looks extra healthy, right? It is. Let me tell you. You may not like it. I do. I feel like a lot of people don't like matcha. I really do. I used to drink it from Starbucks all the time, thinking that I was being all healthy and that things were delicious in life. I was getting almond milk with it, just some stevia, and I was like, oh, it's so natural. First off, almond milk, unless you're like making your own, is still loaded with many more things than just almonds and water. So you're getting a lot of sugar there. Secondary to that, the matcha powder that Starbucks uses to my knowledge, is pre-sugared, so it's not just 100% matcha. Seeing as I was on my bachelorette trip a week ago, I didn't have any rules for myself on my bachelorette trip when it came to my diet. So I only have a month and a half to help myself feel the best it can feel come the wedding day, right? Dear old teeny, when they asked if I wanna try this, I was like, um, superfood? Yes, please help my body get back into pre-COVID, pre-bachelorette party shape. Ingredients on this. They've got two complexes or two blends. One is their green superfood complex, and then one is the superfood support blend. This many things. And then the superfood has three things. Wheatgrass, chlorophyll powder, spirulina powder, chlorella powder, spinach leaf powder, broccoli powder, kale powder, kelp powder, rocket leaf powder, parsley powder, celery powder, grape seed extract, dandelion extract. Next is the superfood support blend. Matcha powder, acai berry, and Garcinia Cambogia extract. 100% plant-based, vegan, kind of the same thing. GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, has no fillers, no additives, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no artificial chemicals. 32 servings in this, so it's gonna last you at least a month. 35 calories in a scoop, zero fat, four carbs, two grams of fiber, zero grams of sugar, you got three grams of protein, 20 milligrams of sodium. Oh, and it also has like plant-based caffeine from the matcha powder. Anyway, now I sound like a nutrition freak. This is not a paid advertisement, but let me just tell you, almond milk, stevia with monk fruit, and then this powder tastes legitimately just like the matcha powder from Starbucks at home in my own kitchen. I just did a shaker bottle with all the almond milk and the ice and everything to chill it in here because it's the finest powder. So mixing it is really hard. So you have to have like a whisk or a shaker bottle or a blender. Speaking of that, they have so many recipes on their website that you can like implement this powder into. Weird things like pancakes, but then really yummy looking things like acai bowls or smoothies. I've only been drinking it once a day for the past four days. So I cannot tell you how it's making my body feel. I'm still being primarily plant-based. I'm still drinking black coffee. I'm still fasting more days out of the week than not. And I'm still doing shots of apple cider vinegar a day. I'm gonna try this pretty much once a Day until it's gone so I'm gonna post an update on my Instagram in like a week I'll let you guys know if I'm having any different effects or if I feel better if I feel nasty after having this I'm gonna post that update on my Instagram you can go follow me there I'm happier because I get my matcha goodness drink at home also my turds are green not that that's important information if you guys want to try it and you like matcha highly recommend so far, in the description of this video, I'm gonna list my coupon code so you guys can save some dollars. Also, I'm gonna list where their recipes are if you decide to check it out. And once again, I feel like this needs to be said, but I did receive this for free. They've never asked me to give a positive review. 100% honesty, 100% transparency. Again, nothing bad to say about it yet, but if I did have anything bad to say about it, I would 100% tell you guys. Other disclaimer, which again could be construed as compensation for a positive review, however it is not. But I do receive compensation if you guys use my coupon code. Anyways, cheers. Let's get straight into my first trip back off of four months off, no flying, knocking off that rust. Cheers. <laughs>
has been so long. Welcome back to my actual pilot life. Post quarantine, still COVID era, but back to work after my really long summer. This is my first time in my flying career that has experienced a big hit like this. We're safe right now with our jobs, but what if this happens again? You know, we just have no idea. Right before this whole COVID crap happened, we were on top of the world. Everybody was like, you guys have it so good, paving the way for you into the majors and all this stuff. We have our pick of airlines. That was like the mentality that we had is our generation of pilots. Now this happened, slowed it way down, and we are so happy that we're at the airline we're at. It started getting us thinking about what will our backup plan be if we can't fly, if we choose not to fly, you know, it makes you think when things like this happen. Now I'm officially back to work. I did miss working. I didn't miss working as much as when I'm working, missing home. Alex has been gone for two days now. It's nice missing him again because <laughs> we've been like attached at the hip since like the end of March. We've barely been apart. I think we've passed the test for getting married because we've survived living together and not working this whole quarantine. So much has happened. It was a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that I kind of just wanted to enjoy or stress about on my own and not put it out there into the interweb. To briefly catch you guys up, we got our second baby kitty, it's Otis and Maeve. Maeve is the little Baby girl it is so weird seeing different personalities when you get a second pet of the same kind. She was born in a barn, rescued with her siblings, no mama to be found. She meows all the time. Otis is very quiet, much more in your face, begs for food. She doesn't like to cuddle or be picked up very much. Otis, total love bug, you pick him up and he might squirm a bit, but when he realizes you're not gonna put him down, he is in love with you. They're getting along, they love each other, they sleep together, they clean each other, groom each other, all that. So now that we're back to work, that's exactly what we're wanting. They're both old enough to stay on their own. We've got automatic feeder, automatic litter box. We've got a large quantity water filter fountain thing for them. We also have a camera to spy on them and speak to them if need be. We also have our Google Home that uh, will play music for them at 10 a.m. every day, so. They're in good hands. July, we had my birthday. It was my golden birthday. I turned 28 on the 28th of July. Oh, my parents came out to visit from Alabama to meet Alex's parents, so they weren't meeting for the first time at the wedding. My parents stayed with us for like five days. They helped with some wedding prep. And probably the biggest news thus far is that Alex and myself are currently in escrow. We are buying a two bedroom condo in Oceanside, California. We are buying a place, we are moving. And the reason why, I mean, we wanted to move and buy a place anyway, but we misread our lease on our current place. We thought we were gonna be moving like two weeks after the wedding. Turns out it's a month prior, which is exactly what we wanted to avoid when we moved into this place. We made it happen, found a place really quick. So now we're in escrow. We should be closing end of August and we'll have like two and a half weeks to move in, paint, and hopefully still have time to finish getting ready for the wedding. Also, a big weight off my shoulders, I finally have my wedding dresses. Yeah, I have two. Both of them totaled less than $500, so don't judge me. I have both of those dresses in hand. I just need them altered still. Also, big surprise, Alex and I have started a business. We have not done any business yet though. During this quarantine, we decided to combine our passions and efforts and we started a real estate media company. Alex used to do real estate. He did it for like a decade. I have been a hobbyist photographer, shot a few weddings since I was in like junior high. We have not had any takers yet on our baby little real estate media company, but we have the people, the equipment, the website, the Instagram, the ads. It's just, we don't have a portfolio. It was virtually free to start, but if anybody in Southern California wants some real estate photos and video, you know who to call. <laughs> I gave myself my first quarantine haircut. I only chopped off the ends but it was like a little scraggly down here. Tomorrow's my first official day of work. I think that's it for the update right now. Welcome back guys. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is what happens when you go to Portland where there's no tax and your hotel is within like a stone's throw of a Target. 